It's about that time. We Ooh, reveal we. the last match of this group for day one. Mena Arti going up against Angry Bird. I cannot believe that doing this day one, we have the privilege to call the best rivalry in Street Fighter VI right now. Mena RD falling to Angry Bird at EVO Grand Finals. Angry Bird falling to Mena RD at SFL US Grand Finals. Oh, man. I mean, if you told me this was an anime saga, I'd be oh, tuned in. And then they'd tell me how to subscribe for season four. Now, yep. I'm in there. Take my wallet. Take my money. Well, as these guys get ready, remember, Men has got one game, Angry Bird doesn't. His opponents only get harder. But it is the bull versus the bird. Oh my goodness, bro. And Mena starting with the Luke. Luke versus Ken. This is the matchup we saw all SFL Grand Finals. On the same stage as well, yeah, by the way. Oh, you're right. This is the same <laughs> stage. These guys know the lore. They're professionals. No, he's good. Yeah, they got to play that CQC mm -hmm. range of perfect parry fireballs again. We've seen the Japanese do this in spades. They are clinical with that. Constantly. And these are two of some of the best players in the world. Listen, a lot of the Japanese players say these yeah, two are the best. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we see a lot of, from the Japanese, the Asian players, they're able to nullify these block strings with the projectiles and even raw like that as well. But it looks like what Angry Bird's doing, if he doesn't perfect parry, he's going to dry rush behind it no matter what version of the Sandblaster it is, but it's going to be a perfect parry. And Luke went back home to pick up his keys. All right, quick little Yui, bust it. Okay, I've never seen that before. Can someone clip that? That was very strange. Damn. Luke? The digital scissors for Tasty Steve. Luke, we're playing for a million dollars here. Do you mind, do, like do you mind doing your job? Wall splat. Oh, Got him. Angry is so good at knowing when the corner is not on screen, but that the DI will push you into there. Backdash. Oh. We were talking about it before, and he waits and he pays respects to Angry Bird's options. He's probably not going to jump out either. He's going to do this the earnest way. Look at, this. Look at how even it is. 35 seconds left as well. Jumped. Oh, easy anti air right there. Man, not even committing to the DP. He just wanted the crouch fierce. Still opting to do Dragon Lash oh, there. Interruption. That was sick right there, right? Either interrupts or he could actually punish if it wasn't a heavy Jinrai. It might have been, though, so he might have caught the actual gap. Well, it's a five frame light kick, and a lot of the light kicks in this game are actually phenomenal, especially with the drive rush. Yeah, exactly. System, so. and, and the Jinrai, the medium is minus seven, so you yeah. could just do that and then punish or interrupt. Still waiting. The yeah, of course, still waiting there. Like a hunter. But Mena RD is waiting to react to just about anything. And he's actually limited Angry Bird's options in the neutral, by the way. Just because of how he's perfect parried and punished something before. Exactly. The first time Angry Bird felt frisky, he did a Dragon Lash, immediately perfect parry, right? That's going to make you second guess going forward how to play the neutral, how to approach. You always want to take away your opponent's options, but he's as stubborn as a high level player can be and gets in and converts to destroy you. Can lovely delay on the jab there. Gets a throw. Let's see what we work with from here. Yeah, best stumbler as a high-level player can be, and you have to be, and there's the stand fierce from Mena. Drive rush cancel here. How much are we going to spin? Not goes, a damn thing. Goes to the shoulder tackle, jumps away, but he's trapped in the corner. Oh, yeah. Nah, he's going to have to level range. three. Oh, man, he missed a flash knuckle again, and Angry Bird's going to have to level three here, surely. Yeah, yeah, he's not going to let this play out any longer. Angry Bird willing to spin the investment to send it to a round three. But Mena, he baited the meter Alpha Academy strat. I respect Mena for still going for the, the B and Bs, the combos he must be landing each and every time. And I like the fact that Angry Bird is actually capitalizing off of the fumble. Absolutely. It's a little bit too early on that parry that time. Couldn't quite find the perfect timing. Tremendous amount of patience. I mean, look at it. Barely pressed anything with 15 seconds gone. And listen, when nothing's happening, something's happening. Mm-hmm. Just fighting, inching for the space advantage. Trying to get into that rage where they feel really comfortable. It's like he's trying to aggravate people with that stand medium kick when he can land so much more damage there, Mena. But again, just focusing on something else until he gets the drive rush. Cancel there. Lands the perfect combo this time. And he will go into the Super Art 3. And he's going to take as much drive gauge away as possible and put Angry Bird in the precarious situation, Rinch. Sniper with the crouch medium kick right there. Yeah, Angry Bird only a little bit of drive meter left over a bar. Oh, it just busts out after the Dragon Lash. Oh, he could have DI'd time. that back. He yeah. could have DI'd that back and won the game. He just went with Perry instead. But now it's going to be a slow death. Most definitely. Walks away. I like that he hesitated. Angry Bird's moving forward as if he's not in burnout. Yeah. Angry Bird, your demise is coming soon. Oh, but yeah, exactly. He tried to punish. It's just a reaction thing. It's muscle memory. But you don't take into consideration that you're burnt out. So the situation is not the same as it usually is frame-wise. That's the thing as well. And people haven't practiced their punish on the sweeps yeah. in burnout. That's exactly. the thing that's probably going to have to be happening from this point onwards. 
And yeah, players are starting to get real good at abusing sweep while their opponents are burned It's out. the situation awareness and just the recognition of doing that, like you mentioned before, so. Oh, man, Mena striking first there. blood here. Angry gets the perfect parry, but just tries to throw it, Mena. I think, he wanted, I think he wanted Mena to try and perfect parry again, just in case. Mm -hmm. Why he opted for that throw there as well. Still highly cognizant, highly vigilant of those buttons that Mena's been throwing out there. Safe mediums. And look, Angry, I mean, he's willing to throw a lot of fireballs now, right? He's like, Mena's not jumping, but as soon as he does, backs up from the fireball, knows the step kick is a likely follow-up. That was so good. Sand Fierce, that was plus two on block, and then has to deal with the Jin right here. Gets hit into the three piece for the sure you can. Almost got the perfect parry there on the Sand Fierce there. Oh, he wanted the perfect parry on that jab. Got him. Mm -hmm. Throw him to the corner, bro. It's mine now. Marlo Stanfield. Yeah, he's just going to wait there. Gets the triple flash kicks, and he's going to preserve his drive gauge because he's low, so he has to be very careful with his offense and defense here, Angry Bird. Line and wait. Oh, he's confident now. Yeah, that was a forced knockdown. He actually could have juggled, but. Let that one go. The whiff throw, it's plus two. Not really, but it feels like it. No conversion there from Angry Bear. Burn out and 25 seconds left on the clock. His dry gauge is suspended for a little oh. while. He might not need it though. Good stuff right there from Angry Bird. Wrapping it up. Looked like that driver's jabbing the throw. Maybe he was just too far for the throw. Very awkward, but Angry Bird, we're gonna tie up the set. And with the intensity and patience they're playing with, I like the fact that Angry Bird is not deterred by him being in burnout. Like Absolutely he's still not. trying to go for the victory, go for the jugular there. So this is the sand blast. That's a great thing about both of these players. They play to win, and they don't play not to lose. Of course, substantial difference. Slow forwards, the classic misses his run, confirm. Really parries afterwards to continue his turn. Wakes up out. with the rising uppercut. Just waiting there. Checks again. He's waiting for about four bars of dry gauge, where he really cancels here. But Angry Bird's got Ooh. other ideas, and, and he's going to burn him out. Bird, bro. One of the best at bullying with Stan Fierce in the business, right? Just putting himself out of space, especially in the corner, where he gets that move time and time again. Dry gauge confiscated now for Mena RD, and he's got oh. Eraser there, and it will hit, and it's gonna send him full screen as well, so he can actually firm it, and he's still got Vulcan Blast as a defensive choice. So he actually might be able to survive this. Oh yeah, could have walked forward in DP, but it was gonna be scary. Angry Bird puts him in a real tough spot to come back from now. He baited it. Yeah, great stuff. Dry brush punish, and we're going to a game three. And at that point, I don't blame Mena RD. Lack of resources, limited to one defensive choice. Use it, see what the outcome is. Exactly. 1-1's one, the score in the duels. There you go, Mena hits the BNB. That's the one that he's Got dropping in the Dragon Lash. Seen it too many times. Great adjustment. Perfect reaction with the DI. No jump out here from Angry Bird yet. Oh, oh. that could have been with Punish. Oh, that's unfortunate. He did stand medium kick, which was punishable up close. You saw. Yeah, just slowing the response there, but he's going to get a Tatsu conversion. Regardless there, try to catch oh, him. Oh, no. And just as I said, Angry Bird loves to bully with that stand fierce. Dude, that could have been the round there for Mena, but he closes it out. And he, I, I've seen him reel back, and he's just blinking. He's like, I've never dropped this combo so many he's times like, in my how life. Am I one for ten today on this combo? <laughs> like... Like, that doesn't make any sense. Right. And somehow he won his first match and he's on set point here. Try to bait something there with his late crouch medium punch. Exactly right, blowing up fuzzy timings. Nice throw on the parry attempt. And he's got him yeah. with the Vulcan Blast. Sends him full screen. Again, okay, yeah, didn't want to burn himself out there with the drive rush cancel, so yeah. just press the button. Yeah, Sit down. Oh, no! Dodging the anti air with the air flash knuckle. Super smart. Throws the button attempt. Shoes on the other foot here. Trying to catch the delayed button there. But Angry Bird's going to take another throw here. What? Here his, we dry go, here gauge, we go. his dry gauge replaces while he takes these grabs. Oh, the back dash. And he's going to switch sides. Great decision from Bird. Back throw again. Damn. This is torrid. He needs one cancel. Oh! Put no. up at the pass. And Mena RD follows it up to take it over Angry Bird. Again, he's staying focused. The boys from Bandits are doing the work. They got the dubs. It's bro, 2 0 for both of them on day one. Listen, man, this is what it's got to be. And like we said, this group is royally. Meh. But anyway, they're doing their work. They need to. And they're exactly what needs to be put into this to get the victories. Like we said, Jammers, we know what the F stands for in this group. You know, almost. with how stacked it is. Group fabulous. But oh, almost definitely. Oh. And that was a fabulous performance from Mena RD, right? The two time cup champion. Look at that. Already pointed to his chest. He knows the mission and he's not stopping until it's done.
A little bit scary, slight blips, but I think he'll understand that and ruminate over that going into day two hey. with those perfect uh, flash knuckle drops. But honestly, he might even have more confidence because we saw a bunch of flash knuckles not come out and he still won both sets handedly. So because of that, man, I mean, he should be on the highs of highs right now. But then I think the question is, what, well, I mean, Luke had other ideas going the flash knuckle the wrong way, but what do we do? As I, what does Angry Bird do now, you know? Yeah, exactly. The uh, Angry Bird uh, down 0-2 to Kaba at Mena RD right in this group. He's going to have to run three straight if he has any hope of making it out. And uh, if anybody can do it, it is definitely Angry Bird. Now, Fino has spoken about this matchup before being actually pretty difficult for Ken. And you can kind of see that there, especially when you implement perfect parries as well as Mena RD did, especially against the Dragon Lash. Then he got a read with the DI at some point as well. You see that Ken has to put his body on the line. And Logan mentioned this time and time again mm -hmm. when it comes to Ken's tool set as a whole, which is why a lot of people rate him highly. We're not really seeing the specifics. And we saw it there when he's in burnout, just stuck with the original punish, not the switch up there. And he was showing signs of life and coming back. But I think it's just when Mena was in the corner, was confident in the defensive decision making to throw him back into the corner. I think that's when we saw Angry Bird in that perilous situation. And Ken, I mean, one of the biggest strengths of Ken in this game, right, is he has like, many different ways from a certain range to approach you. Whether it's Drive Rush, whether it's Dragon Lash, whether it's Fireball, all these things work really well at a similar range, right? But the thing about Mena and Kappa was they shut that range down. We saw the Dragon Lash come out perfect parry. Every time Angry Bird did a Drive Rush against Kappa, flash kick. Like, uh, the fact that they were able to control that range, I think that removes a lot of what makes Angry Bird so successful. Of course, as well. And again, you saw the signs of life here. Successfully baited the Vulcan Blast. I love that as that well. You can see how difficult it is for both players when they're in burnout against each oh, other. Yeah. Because it's just like, it's a new, obviously, it's a newfound respect. It's like, oh, okay, you can win the round. And again, like I said, Angry Bird doesn't look deterred when he's in there. But I always say this, man, I reiterate.